Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my uh, disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE. 800-799-7233 and for mental health resources reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI 800-950-6264 you can also text at 741741 and for additional resources reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988 you can text or call that number with that being said please remember to like subscribe and share so uh, welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk to you about the whispers of a narcissist uh, so now you've left this relationship and we talked about how um, there was no contact and you felt a certain way. Uh, but now we're into, it's been, let's say, eight months and you've been out of this relationship. But there's whispers that you hear. Uh, people are coming back telling you how they thought your relationship was and how um, they don't understand why you let a good man go or a good woman go and... Um, you now know that people has been talking behind your back. So what do you do with this? So you try to explain yourself to these people. And that's the first mistake you could ever make. So see, when you're healing from an abusive relationship, whatever kind it is, whether it's physical or mental abuse, you don't owe anyone an explanation on why you stayed or why you left or whatever the case may be, why you broke up a family, you don't owe explanation to anyone uh, because healing is, uh, is something that's between you and God. No one can come in and help you with your healing. You have to be the one to do this by yourself. So you're hearing how um, you should have stayed and uh, it wasn't that bad. No one knew what you were going through because there was no physical abuse. Uh, like I said, mental you can't see it, but it starts to wear and it eats at you on the inside. So uh, you want to put a, a hush on the whispers that's going around, the people that's talking about you. And I want you to keep this in mind. Where, where are they getting this information from? Think about it. You haven't said anything, so it's the narcissistic person that's going around talking to people and telling them how you were and what you did and, and you know, sharing false narratives and making you seem like it was all your fault that you left and how they did everything for you. So you have to keep in mind, at first there was no contact from the narcissist for almost a year. Now you're starting to hear whispers of what's being said. And this is all a game. So don't sit back and think about, uh, well, I need to go clear my name. See, because here's the thing you need to understand. Uh, going back into this relationship, trying to make things right by clearing your name with people who uh, knew you and this narcissist is nothing but a waste of time. So um, sometimes you have to move on and let people go because if they can't see your growth and your the efforts you have taken to become a healed person, then you don't need these people around you. So this is how you uh, put the hush on the, on the whispers that's going around about you. Ignore it. Don't allow it. To, don't give it any um, wind. Don't give it any air. Just let it uh, float off your back. Don't don't try to be the one to uh, explain yourself because you the only need, the only one you need to explain yourself to is God. You know, and He knows everything about you, so there's no explanation. You can uh, account for whatever you did and repent and go to God for that. You don't have to tell people, well, it was this way and he's lying or she's lying and please understand I didn't do this. I had to do this. There's no explanation that's needed. You've out of, you are out of this relationship and that's all that needs to be said. So um, 
People always want to have an opinion on why you should have stayed when they have no clue on what you endured in the relationship. So don't allow that to bring you down. This is going to affect the healing that you're doing when you're out of the relationship. So keep your head up. Continue to know that God is always by your side. And um, it may be difficult. You may lose some people that you thought were really quality people in your life that really made a difference in your life. But if they're stuck on this uh, bandwagon of you moved too quickly, you should have stayed, then these people are not good for you. So let them go. Uh, continue to do the healing. If you know someone that's going through this, Please share this video. If you're going through it, watch it as many times as you need to. Uh, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.